Hey guys, this is Sadiq here and today's session is talk about numericals in your PUC physics. In fact, I can say that numericals are more easier than uh, the other part of physics that is theory and derivations. Most of the students I know have a phobia towards numericals. In fact, it's really easy. The only thing you have to know is a couple of formulas and I'll discuss these formulas as I go uh, through the chapter and different problems. Now, the only thing is they have no couple of formulas here and how to use the information given to you in the question and substitute in these formulas and get the answer. Everything is given in the question itself. Your talent is to see what is given and draw the diagram and understand the question. That is it. Right, let's start this problem and see how to work with it. This problem says a ray of light uh, is incident at 35 degrees at the glass slab. Right. So first thing is I have a glass slab. Let me draw it here. So this is a glass slab. Very simple. And the ray of light is incident at 35 degrees. All right. Uh, the glass up and calculate the angle of refraction and deviation fine this guy is the angle of incidence anyway and the angle of refraction will be this i know that this guy is denser than this this is a radar medium in fact light is coming from air and it is incident on a glass slab in, in fact the uh, light is traveling through the glass slab now from the air so i can say this is the denser medium definitely the light has to bend towards the normal all right now let's go with this and we're supposed to find the angle of refraction that is r and also the angle of deviation now this guy the ray of light would have passed straight if at all this glass lab was not there all right now this was the original path of light and it deviated to this one so this is called the angle of deviation then i can see there's a relation between i r and d i can see that i is in fact made up of r and d there's r plus d because I know that this angle and this angle are the vertical opposite angles. Now from here, how can I find D? D is nothing but I minus R. Okay, fine. This is one of the formulas you need to know. Very simple formulas. Let's continue this. Given that refractive index of glass is 1.2. Alright, 1.52. So N is 1.52. So what do I know connected to this particular problem? So what's given to me? Let's try this. Okay. So I know that I is given as 35, R is what I'm supposed to find out, and D is what I'm supposed to find out, and I also have the value of refractive index of the class. All right, so I go back to the questions uh, or the formulas of this particular chapter. I can see that sine I by sine R is given as N2 by N1, the first formula there. Can I use that formula here? See, I have I, R, and N. So these are the three things I can see in that formula. So I can write, let's say, sine I by sine R is equal to N2 by N1. Now, who's N2 and who's N1? Okay. So N2 is the refractive index of the medium to which light is going. Right. This is the second medium, this is the first medium. First medium, why? Because light is entering here. Right. Entering this medium is 1 and this is medium 2. So I can say, this N2 is the refractive index of the second medium. All right, and if, it is, if light is coming from air, I generally take N1 as 1. So what happens to my formula? The sine I by sine R would be equal to N. Okay, I would not use N1 and N2 because I have only one N, all right? Now, that's my formula. What else is given to me? I can see that I is given to me, N is given to me, so let me substitute that sine I, I is 35 degrees and I have sine r is equal to n is 1.52. So in this whole equation, the only thing you don't know is r and that's what it's supposed to find out. Very simple. So can I find r here? So I can put this here and put this on the other side that is sine 35 divided by 1.52 would be equal to sine r. Now you got to know how to use the log book, right? So find out the value of sine 35 and that will come to around uh, 0 0.5736 i would not waste time here i would expect you to go to the logbook and look into it and find this value anyway sine 35 i can write 0 0.5736 and that divided by 1.52 is what i have that is sine r use the calculator to solve this value and i can see that this value comes up to around 0 0.3774 so let me write here this value is around uh, sine r is 0 0.3774 okay now can i find the value of r alone so r would be sine inverse of 0 0.3774 so this i can find through 
uh, natural science in the logbook itself, right? So go back and see how to solve this. I'm sure and I, I expect you guys to know this thing. It's a very basic thing. If you not know this, please learn how to use logbook from a couple of your teacher or what your friend is, right? So let's go with this. R would be sine inverse of this value and it comes up to around 22 degrees and 10 seconds. Or 10 minutes 22 degrees and 10 minutes is what is the value I have okay so I can see that this guy is 22 degrees and 10 minutes now how can I find D half of my problem is over I need to find D I can find D from this relationship all right this relation here between I R and D all right D is given as simply I minus R and I was supposed to be 35 and this is 22 degrees and 10 minutes all right how can I solve this okay there's one thing you need to know here and every one degree is made up of 60 minutes okay this this is very important okay what I can do here is 35 degrees can be written as 35 degrees and zero minutes what I have I can write 35 degrees as 34 degrees and 60 minutes Okay, I'm taking one degree from here and make it as, write it as 60 minutes. Now, from this, I'm supposed to subtract 22 degrees and 10 minutes. This is what is my whole calculation. All right, so if I do this, from 60 minutes, I subtract 10 minutes, I get 50 minutes. And from 34, 22 is a 2 and 1. 12 degrees and 50 minutes is the deviation produced. Okay, this angle would be 12 degrees and 50 minutes that's it as you see in this problem it's a very simple problem and as we go ahead we'll discuss more difficult and interesting problems which will come for five marks these problems can come for only two marks in your exams but see the logic here is simply to draw the diagram and see what is given to you and with what is given to you see which formula is appropriate I can see the first formula where sign I R and N all the three information given to me are connected with that first formula so I use the first formula right that's all about it okay let's go with the next problem and see how it works we'll learn more techniques with uh, different problems to be solved